What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. If there's one thing I'm terrible at, it is hand-eye coordination. And so when I heard about the Hello Sport 2, a brain stimulating device that can potentially help you develop muscle memory faster and improve your dexterity skills, well, I just had to jump on it. I have spent the last month testing this out on my tennis game. And in this video, I'll give you the full scoop on how it works, what you can expect, and if it's worth the hefty price tag. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. Now, before we get started, I've included timestamps in the description below. And as always, this video is not to be taken as medical advice. The Halo Sport 2 does use low levels of electrical stimulation on the brain, and I will definitely be addressing the safety issue shortly. But please do your own research before testing out this device, and as always, not sponsored. So in this video, I'll be going over the following. What is the Halo Sport 2? How does it work? And we'll take a look at safety. The results of my tennis experiment. And of course, we'll wrap up with the pros and cons and whether or not I think this device is worth the money. So simply put, the Halo Sport 2 is a pair of neuro-stimulating headphones. They also totally function as a normal pair of headphones. And in fact, I would argue that they might even be better than my noise-canceling Bose, but they do a heck of a lot more than just that. They actually deliver low levels of electric current to the motor cortex of the brain, which is the area that controls your physical movements. So what is this good for? Well, think about any activity that requires some level of dexterity, whether that be playing a musical instrument or engaging in a contact sport like basketball. I mean, heck, you could probably even get use out of this for something like editing or video gaming, really anything involving physical skill and repetitive motion. So let's nerd out on the science for just a second. The technology being used here is called TDCS or transcranial direct current stimulation, something that's been widely studied in the neuroscience community for just about two decades. And the reason this type of stimulation works so well is because of this phenomenon known as neuroplasticity. And when you break it down, it really just means that your brain can rewire itself and form new connections throughout your life. So when you put on this headset and start your session, the electrical stimulation is essentially warming up the area of your brain that's about to engage in physical activity. And the theory here is that this brain warm up or neuro priming session can actually help improve your ability to learn faster and more efficiently. So now that we've touched on the science, let's move on to an example session. So the Halo Sport sessions are 20 minutes long. You simply put the headphones on, but make sure they're super snug. And a pro tip, you're gonna wanna soak the primer band in a bowl of water for about five minutes before you put it on. Trust me, this will make the whole connection part a total breeze. So once you pair your Bluetooth, you open up the app and you click on Ready to NeuroPrime. The first 30 seconds are just calibration, but you will start to feel this warm tingling sensation at the top of your head. It's definitely not painful, but it feels a little weird at first, kind of like a soft scalp massage. And the last thing to note is that you have three different neuropriming options. One is for your general legs, arms, and core, and this is really sport focused. And the other two are for hands and fingers on either the right or the left hand. And this really is designed for musicians. So once you pick an option and you set the intensity, the full session starts and you get a 20 minute countdown timer, at which time you can do any type of warm up. And as I mentioned before, the audio quality of these headphones is phenomenal. So I usually listen to music or a meditation for my warm up. And then that's it. You take the headset off after 20 minutes and you are good to go. Now they only suggest priming once a day, so I would definitely plan your training sessions accordingly. Now, before we take a look at my tennis results, let's quickly touch on the safety since you are zapping your brain with electricity. Now, of course, on Halo's website, they claim that the device is 100% safe, and it's even been cleared by the FDA as a 
general wellness device, which means it's deemed safe for healthy users. But this wouldn't be a type A review without a little bit of PubMed research. And what I found is a number of clinical studies looking at the safety and efficacy of TDCS technology. And out of 150 studies involving more than 4,000 people, there was no immediate evidence of any negative side effects to the stimulation. Now, if I'm being overly cautious, I would say that despite 15 years of research, this is still a relatively newer technology. And so we haven't quite seen any of the long-term side effects. But if you look at the way this technology works at a fundamental level. This device is creating electric fields really no stronger than those already generated by the neurons themselves. And so it's basically just speeding up the process that your brain would normally go through when picking up a new physical activity. That being said, let's move on to the fun stuff as we take a look at how I use the Halo Sport 2 on my tennis game. So quick background, a couple of years ago, I took my first tennis lesson ever and well, I was pretty god awful. I did play for several months after that and my progress was slow and I eventually plateaued and then just gave up altogether. Fast forward to now. It's been about a year and a half since I picked up a tennis racket and so I figured I would probably be starting off at square one. Now, I did use this headset before my very first session and yeah, I admit, it was a bit rocky at first. I'd say my average rally across the net was probably eight at best, but I got a good cardio workout in because I was running after that ball the whole damn time. But I continued to play about every day or every other day for two weeks, and then something amazing happened. Things just got easier. I didn't feel any different while playing, but my results skyrocketed. My rally length jumped from eight to 30 on average. And I just felt like I was playing with more ease than I ever remembered. Now the skeptic in me is like, well, duh, you're just playing more often. So you're naturally going to get better. But when compared to how I was playing two years ago under similar conditions and the same frequency compared to how I'm playing now, it's clear something has caused a shift and I'm not getting any younger or more nimble. So I'm really hoping that the Halo Spore 2 is doing its job. Now, the tricky thing here, of course, with this device is the data. It's really hard to quantify how well this device is working. And so my results are really anecdotal. But if you're curious to learn more, I will link to the Halo Sport website in the show notes below. So you can check out the countless studies from Olympic athletes to professional musicians, all who talk about how this device has improved their game. So finally, we come to the pros and cons of this device. And I'll be totally honest, I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. Now, more on that in a sec, but let's start with what's great and what's not so great. So pro number one, user friendliness. I have tried out a lot of EEG wearables and neurofeedback headsets, and I've got to admit this, is probably the easiest to use and the most comfortable to wear. Once I figured out the trick about soaking the primer band in a bowl of water, this thing connected like a breeze. You may remember my video on the Emotive Epoch where I literally had to soak my entire head to get that thing to connect. Well, with the Halo Sport 2, it's just not the case. Number two, I love the short sessions. I'm a fan of working smarter, not harder. And so I love that this device only takes 20 minutes and then you are good to go. It is really designed for busy people on the go. And as a final bonus, I'd say these are a really great pair of headphones. The audio quality is really unbelievable. They have quickly replaced my own Bose noise canceling headphones. And these are the first pair of over the head earphones that I've been able to run in because they fit so snugly on my head. And so now I'm using this device for more like eight hours than just 20 minutes a day. On the downside, this device is very expensive. This headset's gonna run you about $400. And so I would think about what specific activity you are looking to train for 
before you invest in one of these things. Another downside is that it's only helping sharpen your motor skills. So there's really no evidence right now that it helps with things like cognition or memory. Now, I actually reached out to their team to find out if they do have an upcoming version that will do just that. And they said that they do not have one at the moment, but they are doing some additional research on some other applications that you might be able to get out of this device. So stay tuned for that. And finally, the last drawback of this device is the quantification or lack of quantification. As I mentioned before, it is really hard to measure your results from this device. Sure, if you're training for a triathlon or a marathon, you might be able to make some correlations on your own time improvements. But for me and tennis, it really was more about just general form improvement and feeling the game get a lot easier. My rally scores didn't hurt either. So it may be anecdotal, but it was pretty convincing for me nonetheless. And as a final, final note, I do not think this device is for everyone. Now, if you're looking to train for something physical, whether that be a swim match or a ping pong tournament, well, then this device is great for that. But if you buy it without a goal in mind, you are gonna be very disappointed. My personal incentive for using it was to improve my tennis game. And I'm probably gonna even use it on some video editing after this, but that's about it. Is it really worth the $400 price tag for just sharpening two skills? Maybe, maybe not. Now, I will say that this company is definitely the gold standard for that TDCS technology I was talking about but I do imagine that the market is going to expand in the next few years. And so hopefully with that, we will see a drop down in some of these prices. But if you are in the market for not only sharpening some skills, but also an amazing pair of headphones, well then this is a great two for one device. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, if you liked this video, please do me a favor and give it two thumbs up. And if you have any product suggestions or video topics you'd like to see me cover, then hit me up in the comment section below. You can also reach out to me on Instagram at Katie type A. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification and join the type A tribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.